YouTube. What up? It's 360 GZ. It's 360 GZ. And I'm back at y'all again with another video. Let's talk about this brush, okay? Did I waste my money? You know how much this costs? $77.18 for a brush. Boy, if you don't get, boy, if you don't get. All right, I wanna break down the pros and cons of this brush though. Major con is definitely the price, okay? Let's just say, we ain't gonna say 77, we gonna say $80. Okay, $80 for a brush, all right? That's the biggest con on the list is the price, all right? I see a lot of YouTubers already putting out videos, you know what I'm saying, they hyping the brush up, they not really giving a true review, they just wanted to get some content out there. Okay, they just wanted to get some content out, and that's cool, that's cool, I'm not knocking nobody, there's no shade, but I wanted to give y'all a true review of the brush in my opinion. It's another con, it sold out real quick. A lot of people missed out on getting a brush or whatever, all right? So that's two cons, price and, and, and lack of quantity, all right? It wasn't enough to go around for everybody, all right? Staying on the cons, I'm gonna say the size, all right? This is one chunky ass brush. This is a chunky ass brush. It's definitely gonna take some getting used to. Um, the people with smaller hands, you know what I'm saying? They may not be able to really get out with this brush like they want to, at least right off the back. It's gonna take a little couple strokes or whatever, maybe a day or two to get used to it, all right? So the size of the brush is a con to me, all right? If you can see right there in the groove, all right? I don't know if it could focus. Just a little bit, it's not damaged, but you can see where the wood, I don't know if he, when they made this, was it two pieces and this part got put on the rest of the brush, but you can see a seam right there. And it's a little bit jagged right there, okay? So for that price, I would have liked to see this smooth and finished all the way through like this side. So you don't see nothing right there. All right? I don't know if maybe mine was just one bad batch. Y'all let me know in the comments if your brush got this seam right here or on both sides or just one or not at all. But let me know if you got that seam right there. For the price, I would expect it to be immaculate, okay? No seams, no jagged edges. It should be close to perfection as possible, okay? That's that's about it, man, as far as the, the cons, right? I don't really have too much bad to say about it other than the price. The craftsmanship of this little corner right here is, is not, it ain't the best, you know, cause I could see if both of them was like that, I'm like, okay, that's just how the brush is made. But this side definitely don't have it. It's nice and smooth all the way through. And then you go to the other side and you can see this little seam right here that's actually jagged and my finger's getting caught on it, okay? I don't, wanna, I don't want this to be a negative video, okay? So I wanna get into the pros, but I definitely wanted to give y'all a real good, thorough review, okay? Pros of the brush, all right? Long bristles, all right? 
the longer the bristles, the deeper they're gonna get down into to the scalp and move hair, okay? Now this is labeled as a, 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 a soft medium, all right? In between a soft and a medium, it definitely has some pull. All right, now I recently got a haircut, so it, yes, it pulls my hair, but to me, it's, 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 a, it's a polisher, all right? It's, a, it's just a soft brush, right? This is not gonna really break no forks. It's not really gonna move too much hair unless you got a shortcut. So like if you woofing, this is not gonna lay your hair down. You're gonna have to still go with a hard or medium brush first and then come back after with this one to lay it down. So I would have liked them to drop a medium brush first. Like y'all know me, man. Medium brush is your workhorse. You can use it from a, a, a fresh haircut all the way through a woof. Soft brushes or softer brushes, you can't get that much out of them like you can with a medium brush. So it's kind of a pro and a con, but it's definitely got great bristles. They're packed in there. You know, you're gonna lose a couple bristles. That's that's normal. If you see your bristles falling out or whatever, that's because they stuff them in there. But white bristles, long bristles is great. All right, let's talk about these, these curves on the top. For sides and stuff like that, you're basically using this much of the brush. You're not using the corner. So you, you're hitting it like that, you're hitting the top, whatever the case, sides, back, you're not even using this part. These are strictly for crown work. Now, not to say that when you brush like this, you're not using it. I'm just saying you're not getting as much of the brush as opposed to using it like this, okay? But these for the crown, and I'm gonna show you now. For the crown, if you see how I brush or anybody with a swirl brush, they usually drag this down, come around, up, over, and back down again. So this one, you can basically drag it all the way around and you should have a somewhat decent swirl from using this brush, all right? I'm just saying, this is, this is almost perfect. And I'm not using the middle of the brush, I'm only using the corners around my crown. Excuse me, I'm trying to look in the mirror and not block the camera, but it's 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 perfect, all right? It's perfect for crown work, all right? I'm gonna give it a, a 10 out of 10 for crown work. But again, it's a soft brush. It's really not moving too much hair. Um, and my hair, you know, silky dilkies, you know, I don't have coarse hair or nothing. So I can only imagine somebody with a tighter Co uh, coily hair, more toward coarse, or however you want to call it. This brush is really not going to move too much hair unless it's lower. All right. All right You've got your signature 360 Jeezy signature in basically embedded into it. That's great craftsmanship. The packaging, packaging is great. Okay. The box is excellent. This is basically what you pay for. The brush is probably $30 worth of what you paid for and the box alone, you know what I'm saying? Who has a box for that brush that you can keep forever and store it in? So even if you don't want to brush with it and you just want to show Jeezy some love, and this is a collector's item, okay? So that's what you're paying for. So don't get me wrong when I talk about the price. I know what you're paying for. You can't um, tell another man what they want to charge for their name or their brand, okay? So this is great packaging. If anybody is into like, uh, designer stuff i wish i had a box to show y'all but gucci gucci ray-ban stuff like that they have boxes like this that are kind of like magnetized and they click back into place so you don't damage them opening them back and forth but this is great craftsmanship right here man it doesn't get any better than this i give the packaging a 10 of a 10 i give the brush itself as far as crown work a 10 size wise it's gonna be like an eight for me is i like i said it's a chunky ass brush actual use of the brush i like it all right i've been brushing with it for like a week i definitely like it i uh, like i said i cut down to like a two and a half so my hair is low so i have pretty much good pull with this brush now i know my hair when I get into like an eight to 10 week wolf, this brush is not gonna do nothing for me. It's gonna be a finisher brush. I'm gonna have to go in with a hard or a medium brush and I'm gonna have to end my session with this brush, okay? I want y'all to go out there and be like, oh, I gotta get this brush because this brush is gonna give me waves. And look, any brush gonna get you waves, all right? Let's be clear on that. This brush is for crown work. 
It's for laying your hair down and it's to support Jeezy, all right? And I'm all for supporting people who support us, all right? He's a waiver, started from the bottom, came to the top, and he's still giving back. And now he came out with a, uh, his own product and he wants us to buy it. So it's simple as that. Either you want to support him or you don't. Now, we all seen Jeezy back in the day, started from an apartment, moved up to a house, videos on his phone, went up to cameras, sit, you know, all type of stuff. We seen the growth, we seen the movement, and we've been along for the ride the whole time. So to me, it was a must cop that I had to get this brush when it dropped, I think at 9 a.m. or 7 a.m., whatever time it was. I was on there, I copped it, kept it moving, all right? $80, that's not too much for my pocket. But for, like I said, for some people, they may not have it, right? But I need the medium, bro. I need the medium, I know it's coming. I know the medium coming, you know, we see Jeezy brushing live. You know, he was using this brush for over a year when he was live and we seen one with dark bristles. I know that's the medium. I know it's coming, all right? I don't know if it's coming next year for next Christmas or whatever the case may be. I know he gonna, it's gonna be a set, it's, you know, he's an OG waiver. He knows hard, medium, and soft. Why not come out with a full set, hard, medium, and soft? Everybody gonna wanna get the whole set. I'm cool on the, on the hard, but I'll get it to complete the set, but I need the medium, bro. If you're watching this, I need the medium, all right? If you wanna send it to me on the side, you want me to wait for it to come out, Either way, I need the medium, all right? I, that's all I'm asking for, drop that medium. And for those of y'all, you know, people think, oh, everybody from the Wave pages is friends and all this and stuff, and people get stuff for free. Hey, I bought this, okay? I paid full price for this one. But again, man, not to have this video super long, man, I just wanted to show y'all my opinion on the brush, the 360 GZ brush. I think it's a great brush. Again, the price reflects the name and the brand, and that's fine. It's a dope brush. Crown work is gonna be insane with this, especially on lower cuts. And it's fun to use the brush. It's actually fun to use the brush, and that's priceless. You wanna hit the beer for those who got beers. You know, you can bring it on down there, Jeezy. I know you can't grow one. I know you can't grow one, you know, but I appreciate you. But yeah, man, that's the video, man. Hey, let me know in the comments, man, if you got the brush, what you think of it, if you think it's overpriced, if you think the price is just right, if it's good for crown work, have you seen any improvements in your pattern since you got it, man? If you're new to the channel, like, share, and subscribe, and we out of here.